My name is Joseph Frabo. I'm 11 years old and in fifth grade. I'm teased a lot because I have some disabilities that make me behave differently than what is considered normal. ADD, OCD, Asperger's, the list goes on. I used to really let the teasing get to me and ended up in several fights, but now it's not so bad anymore. I have a certain artistic talent and can paint with greater delicacy than most kids my age. My friends and family frequently praise me for my skill. I like to pick just one color to work with per canvas and mix black and white paint with it to create different shades of it. Last September, my school had an art show. They had one every September. Of course, my blue portrait of my closest friend. You wouldn't believe the trouble I had getting him to stay still while I painted him. Anyways, of course it won first place in the show. I have even gotten the local newspaper. At the show, there was a very strange looking man wearing sunglasses. He was admiring my painting and told me that I had a great talent. I don't remember exactly everything he said because I got distracted and kind of spaced out. But in the end, he invited me to his van for some cake. Now, I absolutely love cake, so who would deny this offer? On top of that, my parents were looking at all the other kids' works, so they wouldn't have noticed if I was gone. So I left with the weird man. We got to his van. He let me in and told me that he'd have the cake ready for me in a moment. I couldn't wait. Suddenly, he locked the door, which made me a little suspicious, and I got uneasy. Suddenly, when he seemed to be reaching for me, I broke down in tears. No! He screamed. I can't. Not again. He cried for some time. I was getting more and more weirded out. What's wrong? I asked him. Listen, kid, he began. I'm not a good man. In fact, I'm horrible. You're an amazing artist, and I wouldn't want to destroy your life like I've done with so many others. He opened the door, revealing several scars along his arm. Go. Make something of yourself in this cruel world. So I left, more confused than ever. In a few days, I saw the man again. He'd been waiting out front of school for me. Hey, young man, he called. I turned immediately and recognized him. He was holding a Tupperware container of green liquid. Yeah? I asked. I decided to make up for what I almost did to you. To help play a part in your beautiful work. So please, take this special paint I've made for use in your paintings. I took the green paint from him. As he handed it to me, I noticed the scars along his arm once again. I have no idea how he got so many. Thanks, I said bewildered, and then I left. Well, now, there was something amazing about that green paint. It looked radiantly beautiful on paper. I could tell. It was no ordinary paint. It was more liquidy, almost like a glaze, and it smelled salty, and it was warm to the touch. Over several weeks, I painted a number of breathtaking works using the green paint, and a little black and white paint mixed here and there, and before I knew it, I was all out. Somehow, the man predicted this would happen, because he showed up with more green paint the very next day. For the next several weeks, the man provided with more and more green paint, and I continued to make beautiful works until one day. A week short of the next art show, he told me he was leaving and he wouldn't be coming back. Where are you going? I asked sadly, as I've grown attached to him. Well, let's just say it's nowhere you've been, but you will go there someday. I hope to see you then, he said. Here. Take the last container of special paint, he continued, handing the familiar green liquid. I'd give you more, but I'm just too weak. Indeed, the man looked very pale. He'd been looking paler and paler lately every time I saw him. His outstretched hand shook mine, and I shook his back. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you again some day. I hope, he said. And that was that. He drove off in his van for good. Well, I worked hard on this painting, harder than I've ever worked before, and it took a whole week up until the show to complete it. It was a portrait of that man's face on a large 5 by 5 
canvas painting, painted with special green paint, of course. I made sure to get every last detail of his face, or at least what I remembered of it. He looked wonderful in green. I took the portrait to the art show and watched the students and parents all look in awe. The Princeton Times. A young colorblind boy paints a stunning red portrait of an unknown man.